Welcome to Freshly Recapped, you place for reviews and commentary on old Hindi movies in English. Enjoy the video, watch out for the spoilers ahead. The story begins with a shot of Suresh Sina, a has-been writer-director in Bollywood, who now aimlessly roams around what was his own studio not long ago. This is often the story with many in the film industry. Most creative people struggle to maintain their creativity for a long period of time and often struggle with balancing their personal and profession lives. This is the main plot of the story in Kaagaj K. Fool. Did you know that before the film became a cult among the movie fans it was a major commercial failure at the box office with both fans and critics alike? It was disliked for being self-indulgent. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more of these videos in the future. This will keep us going. In the middle of his old studio, Suresh, now an old poor man, remembers his earlier days, when he was a successful director with fans lining up for him just to get his autographs. He was a subject of their loves and admirations. It was a time when when he hustled hard and was highly in demand in the film industry. He could demand his own price and could choose whom he we wanted to work with and as well as had complete creative freedom in his movies. The studio trusted his choices as he kept delivering many hits for his studios. His fate begins to change when he meets, in chance, with Shanti, a simpleton from a village, in a not less dramatic shot while he is out on a stroll in the middle of the rains. He hands her his gum coat when she is soaking in the rain before heading to catch his train. Not far into the future, Shanti finds him and gives him back his gum coat. But not before she accidentally comes in front of the camera while the camera is rolling. Later, when Suresh sees her footage in the back room, he decides to offer her the role of a heroine in his next movie, Devdas. When the studio bosses take an impromptu audition of her they find out she can't act and is neither interested in the role nor in the film industry. They are furious with his choice, and are opposed to casting her in the film. But Suresh asks for a one more audition, with makeup and in front of him, before making their decision, they have no choice but to give her another chance. During the audition he is captivated by her simplicity and is convinced that she is what he is looking for in his next film for the role of Paro and offers her the role. He also gets to know her sad personal story, perhaps making her a fit for the role of Paro in his movie Devdas. While his professional career is on the up and up, he is struggling with his personal life with a non-approving wife, Bina, and her family, and a daughter, Pami, who is away in a boarding school. When he visits Pami in her boarding school, he comes to know his wife has forbidden him meeting his daughter without her presence. Not much later thereafter, he begins shooting his film with Shanti in the lead role. Suresh has a vision of Shanti as a simple and a sad girl, that he is struggling to shake off. In one of the scenes, this abundantly becomes clear, when the studio bosses introduce her to the high dealers in the town, Suresh is unhappy to see her as an outgoing, fashionable girl, and disapproves her new role. Shanti realizes he is falling for her outside the film and also begins to fall in love with him. During a trip with Shanti, Suresh meets an accident betting him for some time, keeping him away from the shoot. In the absence of his wife, while taking care of him, Shanti comes to know he is having marital issues with his wife. She sympathizes with him and tries to fill that personal void in his life. Healed from his injuries, back in the studio and working together, Suresh and Shanti begin to get even more closer and deepen their relations. During one of such personal encounters, Suresh tells Shanti he is married and has a daughter, away in the boarding school. Did you know that Guru Dutt's real name was Vasanth Kumar Shiva Shankar Padukone? That we worked as a telephone operator before he started working in films? When Pami's friends make fun of her for having a loose father who is always in multiple relations with his heroines, whom he fights back, defending him. She comes to know his new heroine, Shanti, is the reason for the juicy stories in the newspapers. Running away from the school, Pami confronts Shanti, in her home, and begs her not to break her family apart and take her father away from her. She tells her she is trying hard to get them back together, she even begs her to not make her an orphan like her. Shanti completely breaks down over her sad little story. Next day, during the screening of his new movie, Devdas, in the middle all the appraise and applause, Pami reminds Shanti of her promise. Suresh also overhears their little conversation. They part ways after the screening. Soon thereafter, Shanti informs the studio bosses that she won't be working in the film industry anymore and has made up her mind to leave the city. The boss reminds her she is under a contract with him for seven years and that he will seek remedy in the court if she violates the terms of the agreement. She tells him he can't force her, he promises her more money but she declines it all. When Suresh, sitting with Pami, comes to know Shanti is leaving town, he asks Pami if she is responsible for this. He tells her he overheard their little conversation after the screening of the movie. When Pami tells him she did all this because she is tired of reading all the stories in the newspaper about her father with different girls Suresh tells her she should have come to him and not to Shanti. It is not her fault. Suresh goes to Shanti's place to check on Shanti, 
There, he comes to know she has been staying in the new house for the last 10 months, and even keeps a picture of him. He tells her he is disappointed she did not tell him before about her decision to leave but he understands why she is doing what she is doing. He also holds himself responsible for her decision. He tells her they should have never gotten closer to each other. He wished he stayed away from her. She reminds him it was all fate that they met each other. On his way out she hands the sweater she has been knitting for him. The sweater is a totem for their relations. Back home, when his father-in-law comes to take Pami away Suresh stops him and tells him she will not go back to her mother now. The father-in-law warns him he will go to the court to take possession of his granddaughter. During the court session, we come to know Pami has been living with her mother for the last nine years now, when his wife left him. He expresses his interest in keeping his daughter with him now. While deliberating on the matter, who will be a better fit for providing a safe and caring home for Hami, the court is of the opinion that father is always from home while on shoot and can't take care of her except in a boarding school. When the judge asks them to reconcile with each other in the interest of the child, his wife tells the judge their differences are irreconcilable, that she wants to keep her daughter away not just from her father but from the industry. Suresh begs the court for not separating a father from his daughter, the court decides to give the custody to the mother. Now losing both, his lover and daughter, Suresh starts drinking, and stop going the studio. During one of the shooting sessions, Suresh keeps seeing Shanti everywhere, completely lost in his own thoughts, he blocks into the scene mindlessly, while camera rolling, this shocks everyone, when realizing his state of mind, Suresh realizes his mistake, this is the moment Suresh realizes he has hit a wall in his career. The fact dawns on everyone else during one of the screenings of his films in theaters when an unruly audience starts throwing slippers on them after a disaster opening for his film. If you are enjoying this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more of these videos in the future. Later, bosses call Suresh into their office and remind him their financial losses because of his ability to give them more hits. He promises they will make more money in his next film. When they sideline him for their next project, even threatening to take away all the creative freedom from him, he threatens them back to use a different director in that case. One of the bosses reminds him he has also approached a different director as he does not think he is capable of directing anymore, not for him anyways. This completely breaks Suresh. After two years, without any work, Suresh is forced to sell his house. Meanwhile, away from the film industry, Shanti has started teaching back in her village. Sometime later, when Rocky, Suresh's assistant and a friend, comes to know that the studio bosses have won the case against Shanti and she will soon be back in town to work for them Rocky goes to Shanti's village to bring her back. He tells her what has happened to Suresh in her absence. Now with a line of flops, he begs her to come back and work with him again as this is now the only way to save him. In the middle of his drunken sessions, some minions of the bosses also go to offer him work. They tell him Shanti will be in the film too, but he refuses the offer. Then Shanti visits him. Seeing him in such a bad professional and personal space breaks her heart for him. She reminds him the bosses need him now for their next project. But he does not think they need him but her. They need her. He tells her he has not much left in his life now but his self-pride is still there with him. Still unbruised. But he he tells her if she still wants him to go to the bosses with her, he will go with her. She knows he is beyond saving now. A much time later, we see Pami is looking for her father. She is about to get married and wants her father by her side in the marriage. She even goes to Shanti to ask her where he is, who also tells her even she, is looking for him. We see she has even knitted a bunch of sweaters for him. Missing everything, soon, we see Suresh has hit a peak low in his career now. Forced to work as an extra in the movies. While in one of those roles, he sees Shanti on the sets. This takes him back to the old days. When she recognizes him on his way out after the shoot, she runs after him to get hold of him. Perhaps to find her closure. But mobbed by her fans, she looses him on the run. Suresh does not want to be found again. Has checked out of the industry completely. A much, 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 time later, back to his old studio. In his old age now. He gives up his life, on a director's chair, surrounded by his crew comrades. He dies how he lived his life. This is truly a sad and tearjerker of a movie and is now a cult film among movie fans. Did you know that because this was a flop at the box office, Guru Dutt suffered huge losses and stopped directing after this? This is the last film he helmed as a director. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Thanks for watching, enjoy your popcorns and watch out for the spoilers.